Hey guys, it's Sharon here, and this video today is going to be all about my adult coloring book collection. Now, um, I had a couple of requests to show my whole adult coloring book collection, which I'm going to go ahead and do. I really enjoy watching these kinds of videos, but they can go either like really good or really bad. It just kind of depends, I guess. Um, you know, there's some people that enjoy it. There's some people that just really, I, I've seen just some nasty comments on this kind of video, on these kinds of videos. So I hope that this turns out well and all, but um, I guess I have to kind of do the disclaimer. I'm not bragging. You know, this is in no way like bragging and, and whatever. Um, and also I'm not paid to show any of this stuff. I bought all of this with my own money. So, um, you know, this is just showing everything I have. Now, um, as I said, I just pretty much just started in this hobby a few months ago, and my collection has grown fairly quickly. I would just pick up a little here and there, and when you do that, it just really, really adds up. Now, I'm not going to show these in any, any particular order as far as preference or anything. I'm just going to show them as they come up. This video is probably going to take a little bit because I do have quite a few books to show. But we'll try to get through it as, as quick as we can. I'm not going to flip through a lot of these because you guys have probably seen them. You've seen them in my haul videos and stuff. So just to kind of move things along, I'll just pretty much show you the front covers. So anyway, we'll start out with the Johanna Bassford ones. And of course, we have Secret Garden. We have Enchanted Forest. We have Lost Ocean. And, of course, Magical Jungle. So these are all four of her books that she's got out right now. Now, I, I do believe that she is doing a uh, Christmas one that should be coming out, um, I want to say, in October, maybe, something like that. So um, those are all the Johanna Bassford books thus far. Now, these next three I got when I subscribed to a... Um, uh, I, I kind of got a free subscription, I guess, with this, where it sends me a, a free coloring page a week or something. But um, these came from Amazon, and they, it came from a company called Creativity Calm Series or something. So, But these, it came with uh, three books in a set. This is Animals, an adult coloring book. And the paper in here is really, really good. It is awesome. And it's double-sided, so I'll just kind of do a little bit of a flip through. The next one is Geometric Shapes. And pardon the glare, guys, I'm getting some natural sunlight through the skylight, and when that happens, it really glares off of the um, glossy pages. So, um, again, double-sided. The paper in here is really, really good. And these weren't really all that expensive, either. And then the last one in this series that I have right now is Scenery. Again, awesome paper. It's all double-sided. I'll just do a quickie little flip-through. Yeah, there we go. And when you get these, as I said, it it, um, it gives you a free coloring book page a week that you can print off and, and work on. All right, so next, as I said, we're not going to do this in any particular order. We're just going to kind of fly through them just a little bit. This first one is Mermaids, Sirens, and Sea Creatures. Next we have Princesses. Very pretty. A lot of these that I have are either from Dover Creations or, um, or uh, yeah, a lot of them I think are from Dover Creations. This next one is Dragons. Love dragons. I'm kind of in, uh, into the like fantasy creatures and stuff. Uh, dazzling, dazzling dogs. <laughs> I love dogs. So cute. This is Mandalas. And this is from the adult coloring book uh, world. Adult coloring book world. I have several of in, in this um, series as well. Okay, um, this is Color Me Happy. I'm sure you guys have seen all of these things. It's got the different sections and stuff that you can color. Color Me Happy. Color Me to Sleep. This is from that same series. 
and Color Me Calm. Now there's a couple more of these in this series that I'd like to get. These are some of the more expensive ones because the paper quality in this is really good and then you get the really, really nice cover on these. Celtic Knotwork. I think this is one of the stained glass ones that I got. You guys might have seen this in my one of my recent hauls. Uh, Tiffany Designs. Again, this is uh, one of the stained glass ones. Got Tiffany lampshades and stuff on it. Art Nouveau windows. Again, this is a stained glass one where you can color in stained glass windows. I've gotten several of those in the past, uh, recent past. Uh, fanciful butterflies. This is another stained glass one, as you can see. And again, these were featured in several of my haul videos. So you guys might have seen these before when I did that haul. And again, I will link those videos down below so that you guys can look at those should you wish. Okay, this one is Sweet Escape Geomet Geometric Designs. And some of these, like you'll be able to see that I have some post-it notes in here, some sticky notes, because what I do is I mark the pages that I wanna try to copy off onto another kind of paper. That way, if I wanna use watercolors or um, whatever, like if I mess something up, I can always copy it again and do the same picture. And then it preserves my coloring books, which is nice. And then I would just put those into, I'd put the finished products into the uh, protective uh, sheets, page protectors, and then put them in a three ring binder. Um, so hence the little sticky notes, cause it marks what I wanna copy and color. Really makes it nice. Next is the craft of coloring. Uh, this is geometric patterns again. And again, we have little sticky notes of things that I wanna color marking things that I want to color. So for a long time, like I really got into the, the um, geometric shapes because those seem to be the easy, easiest for me to do, but then I got into some others too. Um, designs, adult coloring books. I think these are like mandalas and more geometrics and stuff like that, yeah. Um, next is... Uh, Imagimorphia. You guys have probably seen this book a number of times. This is the new one by that Kirby Kirby Haynes, Kirby 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 Rosanes. And he is the same one that did Anamorphia, which I had picked up at the same time. Oh, okay, next we have uh, another Mandalos coloring book. Mandalas. I really like mandalas. I'm a big fan of mandalas, as you guys can probably tell. Next, we have Amazing Swirls. Some of these I'll kind of just do a little quick flip through in case you're not familiar with them, but um, there's that one. Next is uh, Butterfly Fairies, and I think this one is a stained glass one. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think this one I showed in, in um, one of my recent hauls. This is from Dover Creations. As I said, these are not in any particular order, so some of the stained glass ones are going to be interspersed with the regular ones. Butterflies and Flowers. As we can see. If you guys want to see a more detailed flip through of any of these as I show them, just let me know and I will be glad to do that. Okay, here is Fairy's Coloring Book. And I can't always get everything in the frame, so I'm trying to move it as best I can so that you can see it. But as I said, if you want to see any uh, a more detailed flip through of any of these, just put that in the comment section of the video and I will certainly be glad to do that. Garden Fairies. Again, I think I showed this in one of my recent hauls. It's a stained glass one. Another stained glass one, Eggs from Around the World. Here is another stained glass one, Magic Garden Fairies. I think I showed this in a recent haul. Okay, 
Okay, we have Grimm's Fairy Tales. I think some of you might be familiar with this one. I've actually seen this one quite a bit on YouTube. Uh, Richard, Richard Doyle's Fairy Land from Dover Creations. Richard Doyle's Fairy Land. Fairies. Coloring books for grown-ups. This is Fairies and Fantasy. I think this is the that grayscale one that you guys saw in my recent haul that um, I think I was kind of taken aback like when I saw the different style of it it's like oh my gosh how do I color this but yeah um, I've not seen one like this one before so this one to me is kind of unique although there's probably several of this particular style out there yeah this one is fairy fashions next we have adult coloring book This is the uh, coloring book for adults, um, henna inspired flowers, animals, and paisley prints, paisley patterns. Um, adult coloring designs, and I think this has got more mandalas and stuff in it, single sided pages like that. This one is goddesses. Next is Angels. Very cute. This is Geometric Design Coloring Book. Uh, this is actually the one that I did a lot of coloring in. From Dover Creations. Uh, Dimensions Coloring Book, uh, Creative World. Dimensions. Tessellation Patterns Coloring Book. This is from Adult Coloring Book World, again. Dream Doodles from the Adult Coloring Book World, or whatever that series is called. Celestial Mandalas, again from that same series. I'm trying to get it so it's not glaring as much because that light coming in through my skylight. I love my skylights, but it's got the disadvantages when I'm trying to do things like this. Mandala Techlations. I'm surprised I'm not getting all tongue-tied. <laughs> as you guys can tell, I, I like mandalas, among other things. Owls! <laughs> my mother, oh my gosh, she loves owls. Loves, loves, love owls. Okay, we still got a few more to go, guys. As I said, I have quite a few of these. Okay, Fanciful Faces from that same series. Art Nouveau Animal Designs. From that same series. Uh, and entangled dragonflies. Entangled dragonflies. From that same series, Adult Coloring Book World. Art Deco Fashions. These are very pretty, I gotta say. Ornamental fashions.
flower fashion fantasies from that same series. Mandalas of at midnight. And I'll show you the uniqueness of this coloring book. This one actually has the black background built in, as you can tell, which will make that color pop very nicely. Geometric Shapes and Patterns Coloring Book Volume 1. This is a Color, color and Create series. Color and Create series. Master Mandalas Adult Coloring Book. And I think this one is just on regular paper. Yeah, single-sided and stuff. The paper quality in some of these aren't the greatest. Geometric coloring book for adults. Three D designs. Three D designs. This is also from Dover. This uh, publisher is quite popular, I think, Dover Creations. Okay, still got a few more, you guys. Mystical Mandala Coloring Book. I think we've all seen this one before. Victorian Fashions from Dover Creations. Fashions of the Old South. Yep, Fashions of the Old South, as we can see. Still got a few more, guys. Still got a few more. We're getting down to the wire, though. <laughs> Civil War Fashions Coloring Book. Late Victorian and Edwardian fashions. Very pretty. Fabulous fashions of the 1950s. Adult coloring book world. Very cute. Gorgeous geometrics. Bless you, let's say, bless your heart. We'll bless your heart coloring book. And this one, I think, is also done on the black background, and then there's just little sayings and stuff that you can color in with little designs on the outside of them. I thought this was kind of cute. Kind of cute there. Kind of quick and easy designs that you can do if you're looking for something like that. Detailed Dragons and Beautiful Patterns from Adult Coloring Book World, it looks like. Next is Empire Fashions from Dover Creations. Roar, uh, say Fashions of the Roaring Twenties. Another one from Dover Creations. Oop. And Goodies Fashions. Oop. And then I have quite a few of these little stained glass ones that I will show you guys. I think that is all of the big ones that I have. But I do have several of these little ones. Now you guys have probably seen these in some of my recent hauls. But um, now these, these ones here are the littler stained glass ones. Fairy princesses. Lucy 
little mandalas. Whoops. Little butterflies. Little birds. These little ones are nice because you can really, really travel with these kaleidoscopes. You can put them in your journal, travel with them, color with them very easily. Heavenly snowflakes. Garden flowers. And starbursts. So guys, that is all of my adult coloring books that I have thus far. I know it's quite a few. And there's all the little ones just kind of fanned out right there. But um, that's my collection of adult coloring books. I know it's quite a few. I have a lot, so I'm not going to run out of... I will not have... So I won't have a shortage of things to color. I won't run out anytime soon. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little collection video. And as I said, I mean, this took quite a bit of time to add up. I didn't get all of this overnight. It took uh, quite a few months for me to develop the collection that I do. And... You know, when you pick up some here and there and, and uh, you know, one or two here, maybe, um, you know, three there, it just, you know, it takes a little bit of time to add up, but it does add up. But if you want to see more like this, subscribe to this channel. If you want to see a more detailed flip through of any of the books, just let me know. I can do that. You guys leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Um, hit the like button. Subscribe, as I said. You guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you guys all later. Bye, guys.